welcome to DPO. Uh, the DPO journey is a quite a, an interesting one. Started back in 2006. Um, we started a business here in Nairobi, Kenya. For us, uh, Kenya is the center of the world. And we, over these years, built a payment solution, basically an end-to-end -end payment uh, solution. Our main goal is to connect merchants and their consumers. We go to the merchants and offer them payment solution where their customers can pay online. The customer can use any form of payment. It can be card, it can be mobile money, uh, it can be QR code, it can be a bank transfer. Uh, and DPO will make sure that this customer and these merchants are virtually connected so the transaction can be a, a process uh, at real time. Now we developed uh, this business and our strategy was to go all across Africa and provide such a solution for uh, the African uh, uh, merchant. One of our main strengths is that we cover most of the sub-Saharan region. Uh, DPO Group offered the same solution in more than 19 countries across uh, uh, Africa, East Africa, West Africa, Southern Africa. In the last five years, we grew quite rapidly. We acquired five payment service provider in South Africa and, uh, and um, added that quite a massive market into our portfolio. Uh, across the group, we have more than 350 uh, uh, employees. We serve more than 100,000 merchants. And if I will summarize everything, we do payments, and we do payments for Africa. Sometimes it's difficult to explain how complicated this market is when you compare it to other regions in the world. And this is what makes this uh, opportunity such an amazing opportunity. Um, the African market uh, presents some great challenges. One of them is the fact that the payment space you must process locally in each country. You cannot run a payments business from Kenya and process easily in Ghana, Senegal, Ivory Coast, and DRC. You need to have a physical presence in each one of these uh, countries, and that's of course a challenge because you need to open your own business in each one of these countries. You need to apply for a license. You need to create or establish relationship with each one of uh, uh, with banks in each one of these countries to recruit your local team. So there are lots of logistics, lots of challenges in terms of regulation, how to uh, uh, take your business, take your solution, and modify it that we, it will adopt local uh, regulations and local laws and uh, uh, local behavior of different, uh, uh, in different markets. I'm very proud that um, we a very significant player in this growing fintech uh, uh, industry. You're right, I never called us a fintech company. Uh, it took some time until uh, you know, the people and the companies realized, hey, we are a fintech company, that's very interesting. But today it become a reality. You know, everyone wants to be part of the fintech. Uh, there are lots of opportunities, lots of opportunities. Uh, uh, everyone wants to be part of this uh, revolution. You know, the banks, the banks offer more and more solutions, online solutions. Uh, the schemes, MasterCard, Visa, American Express, that's everything for them, that the customers will uh, use uh, uh, their cards. The MNOs, mobile money. It's an online uh, payment solution. You know, we, for years we thought mobile money is different. Mobile money is not different. You use mobile money to purchase online. So if you combine everything, uh, uh, and then you take a company like DPO, which can use all these uh, solutions, there is a great opportunity to offer more solutions for merchants, to offer more uh, uh, solutions for consumers. We believe that the consumer will hold only their phone, nothing but the phone, the phone will be connected to their cards, to their mobile money, to their bank account. They will go, they will tap their phone, they will scan a QR code, they will use an online chat to make payments. So the fintech industry, those solutions will definitely change this, uh, uh, the payments landscape across the African continent forever. Uh, it will be online space, 
And I'm one of those which truly believe that five, six, ten years down the line, everyone will look at Africa and say, wow, what a change. PO uh, always been in the front. We're very proud doing it. You know, I started by saying for us, Africa is everything. We are proud to develop these solutions within Africa. And as I mentioned before, all, ar all around the world, those big companies, they are looking into Africa, and I'm sure they will start to take those solutions we develop here all across to Southeast Asia, to Northern America, Europe, etc. All across the world, uh, the African payments industry attract lots of attention. Uh, that's what we call the next frontier. Um, and there is a um, strong demand for solutions across the African continent. Uh, DPO is a leading uh, uh, solution, leading, uh, um, leading vendor when it comes to the payments, the African payments industry. Uh, and therefore, this deal was quite uh, a classic deal for a big player like Network International. Network uh, uh, operates across the African uh, uh, continent and the Middle East. However, they work on different dimensions. For them, the payment space uh, was like a piece in a puzzle. And DPO is that piece which cover for network the whole of the continent when it comes to a, a, a payment, the payment space. Uh, we will allow network and ourselves now creating this uh, new partnership, access to more markets. We will uh, uh, offer merchants with more solutions. We will offer global merchants which works with network, access to African uh, and market markets, and we will create new partnership with the schemes like Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and others. So our main objective is to just accelerate, to provide more solution in more countries with much more power. I truly believe in a partnership and a consolidation. Uh, when it comes to huge markets, I don't think there is any other option. Um, yes, you can grow, you can be the biggest, but in a one smart move, when you partner with another giant, with another big player, and you join forces, that's the best way uh, forward. That's the um, essence of the DPO network uh, uh, deal. Each one of us represents a, um, a solution, which is, which is a leading solution. And together, we definitely bring to the African continent a very powerful uh, unified solution. It won't affect, it will, uh, um, it will be added to our business. AI, it's something that we do for many years. Our fraud prevention and risk management solution are based on AI, AI sorry, to learn the customer, to learn the behavior of uh, the customer, uh, to look for patterns, especially when it comes uh, uh, to fraud. A blockchain so solution, Great technology, great opportunity, can be around cryptocurrency, it can be around how to manage a, a data. Uh, like any other fintech company, we're always looking how to make our solution uh, um, more secure and more advanced. We definitely uh, will use such and keep using such solutions. Um, you know, like any other uh, business, in the world, a DPO has been affected by uh, uh, this terrible pandemic. Uh, it caught us by a surprise. No one really knew that something like that can happen. And we saw the effect almost immediately. Um, we saw a, a, a decrease on online transactions, mainly in the travel industry. And in addition, oh, when we realized that it's here and it won't disappear very quickly, we realized that those SMEs need a solution and a quick solution. Why is that? Because some of the consumer or most of the consumer, they change their behavior. They need to buy milk. They need their uh, 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 ugali, they need uh, 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 bread, they need water, but they don't want to go to the shop. So overnight we realize, like any other uh, payment service provider in the world, and like any other customer, that these are new times. The typical customer, the typical consumer, would like now to consume and to make online purchase. 
And that was a great opportunity, not only for us, but mainly for the SME. One of the solutions we came up with is called the DPO store. We realized that those uh, uh, small businesses all across the, uh, uh, the year, they are busy to manage their business. They got no time to develop any online solution. So we decided to launch a very straightforward solution where each one of these or any shop can get a free e-com website. So within less than 24 hours after this shop call us, we will help them to establish the website. We will help them to upload the products. We will explain them how to use it. The payment solution is already embedded. That means small business can be a grocery shop, it can be a shop which uh, sells clothes, sells groceries, sells uh, electronics, uh, can have their own online presence. That means those shops can now mitigate the main challenge of the pandemic and do cashless or uh, do a uh, contactless payments. Uh, that's one example how to uh, uh, help those SMEs during these uh, tough times. Africa is like a huge giant which was there all the time and just waited. Why I'm saying that? Take Kenya for example. The internet penetration in Kenya is among the highest around the world. You know, for a typical Kenyan, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, it's something which you know, goes without saying. However, as you mentioned correctly, the e-commerce was not there because most of the merchants were not ready for the e-com. And this is where the pandemic created an opportunity because the consumer, they know everything about online. For them to communicate electronically with the merchant, it's very easy. And once the merchant got some kind of a solution, it can be DPO store, it can be any other uh, e-com solution, there is a match. So we saw quite quickly that this opportunity became to be a reality. Consumers and merchants started to interact online, shop online, pay online. Uh, uh, that was a positive effect of, uh, of the pandemic. In overall, the answer is yes, and I will elaborate. Um, many new merchants, many new SMEs moved to the online arena. We saw a, a growing demand for, those, for this type of businesses. You know, if before the pandemic, most of the business, most of the online business was highly focused on the travel industry, travel agents, lodges, uh, 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 hotels, airlines, Etc. During the pandemic, we saw a great shift into what we call general e-commerce, tiny shops, restaurants, uh, uh, food delivery, supermarkets, uh, 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 and such businesses which move into uh, uh, the online space. Obviously, the pandemic hit most of uh, the markets, and the volumes are not huge volumes. However, now that the pandemic slowly, slowly uh, 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 I'm not saying it will disappear quickly, but uh, we can see the slow recovery. Those businesses that never looked into the online space now wants online presence. And yes, we can definitely see a change across East and West Africa in, uh, in general. Uh, uh, Southern Africa in particular, there is a very, very significant change. Now that's a great question, especially these times. Uh, uh, I'm not saying post-COVID, but there will be post-COVID shortly. We are looking at two main dimensions. One of them, more markets. Uh, uh, to expand DPO into new markets, we are looking at Northern Africa, Morocco, Egypt. Uh, the Francophone region is one of our uh, leading uh, uh, markets for the second part of uh, uh, 2020 and into 2021. Um, the other dimension is the solutions. We recently launched a solution where merchants can get their money instantly. The customer paid, the merchant get their money into a prepaid card. We are uh, busy to launch more a uh, solution. One of them is the DPO store, when any merchant can get uh, uh, their free e-commerce uh, website. So more and more such solutions will bring more business and more customers to all of us. The main lesson combined with both tactic and strategy. 
first, my best advice would be don't change your strategy. Why in such times, it's a chaotic uh, period. No one really knows what will happen. And I recommend don't change your strategy. Look into the future because this pandemic will disappear. And I always recommend keep your strategy, keep your main heading and go there. What is the tactic uh, 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 advice? When you need to make some small changes to find a quick solution for a few weeks, for a few months, do it. Don't be afraid as long as it's part of your strategy. So the combination of both can uh, help any business to survive such a chaotic uh, time, uh, uh, such a, a very uh, uh, difficult times. Um, for DPO, it worked quite well. We maintain our strategy. We always looked into the future and, uh, and uh, always made sure that we keep, you know, we do payments, we know exactly what we want to do. But in the meanwhile, we came up with some ad hoc solution just to give those businesses, those small merchants, a solution for these tough times.